Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through the Boss Rush Community's Choice 2. And I'm going to walk you through each of these fights, and hopefully it'll help you get through it as well. So first up, we have King Groot. I showed you the nodes earlier on. You had Limber. Um, there's also a chance to uh, for your nullifies to fail. But my number one choice for this fight is Dr. Voodoo. Dr. Voodoo destroys King Groot's all day, every day. When King Groot first came into the contest, I took him out with a four-star Dr. Voodoo. So he is definitely my number one pick. But honestly, this fight is pretty straightforward. You can take him out with a variety of champions. Uh, there's nothing too complicated about this fight. Now, at the end of this video, I do go in here with a four-star Dr. Voodoo. So if you have a four-star Dr. Voodoo, he works as well. But as you can see, you pretty much want to just fire off your special one on an even combo, convert those uh, Furies or his regen into uh, poisons, and that's pretty much it. That is the fight. Uh, you can fire off your special two and control his power that way. But in this fight, the special one is, is the best, I think. All right, now next up is Domino. And I've heard people cry about Domino. So you can see here, she has a permanent regen, which is annoying. And you look at that ensnared tech. Normally I go up against Domino with Starkey, my Spider-Man Stark enhanced. Can't do that. But my number one pick for this fight is going to be Archangel, even a four star. And again, at the end of the video, I do go into this fight as well with a four star Archangel. But he is my top choice. There are others. Um, Omega Red can do it. You know, there's a variety of champions that can take her down. But for me, Archangel does it the best. Now, someone asked me uh, during the stream, why Archangel? Well, Archangel, for one, cannot have his abilities reduced. That's huge when you're fighting Domino. All right, so you can see I got some uh, bleeds and then a poison. And now I just need to convert those into neurotoxins. Once those neurotoxins are on, even that one, She's not going to be regening at all. No health regen. Now, your Archangel does need to be awakened for that. Now, if you don't have an awakened Archangel, each poison stack will reduce healing by 30%. So even if you don't have him awakened, you can still use Archangel for this fight. You just have to build up stacks of poison. Uh, my Archangel, he was my first rank four. I took him up unawakened. Never regretted it. All right, so here we go. We've got Aggression, Regeneration, and Spite. Someone told me that Ghost was not good for this fight. So I said, all right, I want to see why. Why would Ghost not be good for this fight? I didn't see anything that would give me any trouble. The Spite... As long as you're not triggering a lot of buffs, you should be okay. That's my thought. All right, so I'm going to let you be the judge at uh, how well Ghost does in this fight. So what do you think? How does she do? I think she did rather well. So next up, we've got Invisible Woman. Not too much... Uh, in this that life transfer love it cornered that's why i didn't bring archangel although he could do it you would just have to be very very careful all right so fighting invisible woman is not too difficult okay i didn't find her very hard at all all right so you can see here ghost is doing her thing now the one thing that you have to be careful about is her invisibility timer all right see that can catch you. You're not about to attack her, do any damage. She will wreck you uh, if she's invisible. All right, so now she's not invisible anymore. She became visible. 
and you can see her timer uh, up there a little bit. You have to kind of be careful about that. See this here? All right, she has a chance to go invisible. But I didn't really have too much of a difficulty with her. Now, in subsequent runs, I did. I didn't bring Ghost in my later runs. Uh, and sometimes when I went up against her, uh, I, I used Captain America Infinity War. I used Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. I didn't pay attention all the time to that timer and got wrecked. See, like right there, I hit her and I backed off because I knew she was about to go invisible. And in some of the runs, I did not. And she went invisible and immediately countered me and wrecked me. But here we go. And down she went. So not too difficult of a fight if you know how to fight Invisible Woman. Now, this fight is the fight that a lot of people are talking about. All right. So... I went in here with OG Vision. Now, a little word. I switched teams. So this is not my initial run. This is after I, you know, got familiar with the fights. So OG Vision is a great counter. Now, the team that I went in here with, I replaced Ghost and Hood and Wasp. I brought in Captain America Infinity War, and I brought in OG Vision. They have a synergy that removes all the power from the opponent when they fire off a special. So that's what you see there. You're going to see it again because we're going to go into this fight again with my next counter. But as you can see, OG Vision works beautifully. Now I'm running suicide, so every time I fire off those specials, I'm taking damage. But I'm also doing a lot of damage, and as you can see, Symbiote Supreme went down. All right, so OG Vision, great counter for this fight. Next, we're going to see Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and he is my number one choice for this fight. So the node has res um, power reserve. That is key, okay? So you see here, he fired off his special two and lost all power, all right? That is that synergy, Captain America Infinity War and OG Vision. Now, once I build up to a special one, the fight is pretty much mine. Okay, so look at this. Yeah, he's got his special three, but guess what? He's not about to get that special three off because of power reserve. Look at this. Spam the special one. Still got enough. Keep going. Spam the special one again. And that's all you need to do. You can even do this with a four star. Okay, so... Not a difficult fight if you plan it out and you go in with proper counters. OG Vision works. Spider-Man Stark Enhanced works beautifully. All right. And finally, we've got Taskmaster. That Icarus, very annoying. I often forget about it. But a great counter for this is anyone that has a heavy as part of their rotation. Okay, so we're back to my original team, and I went in here with Wasp. I've also done this fight with Captain America Infinity War, with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, even with Dr. Voodoo. Uh, it's not a hard fight. You just have to remember that Icarus. Okay, so those Furies, as soon as you get eight Furies, if you have not erased them, you're going to go down. OK, uh, that D-Gen is vicious and I forgot in some of my runs and it took me out. All right. So now I promised you a four star fight. So here we're going in with a four star Dr. Voodoo. So during the stream, I had, of course, there's always someone uh, who has a very difficult time with these challenges and they see me breezing through it with my champions and they say well you know that's fine because you have those champions but what about us that don't have the champions this is just a money grab and you know all of that and i got challenged to do it with four stars well the thing about this is i don't like doing that sort of thing i really don't uh but i did want to show just a little bit so what i did was i went in here with a four-star team 
same team as I had been using as five stars. And I went and did, I think, the first three fights. And then I would have had to use items to continue. And I didn't feel like doing that. Uh, now, I actually said this in the stream, but I'm going to talk about that as well uh, here. Not all challenges are going to be for everyone. Now, I know that's not something everybody wants to hear. Now, when I had only four stars, I still did some of the difficult challenges, but I was okay with using items. If my four stars were the best that I could do, I came in here, I would come in here, and I would just use items. Now, I went through the first three fights without using any items. Then I would have had to revive and work my way through. Okay, that's all. This fight or this uh, challenge can be done with four stars. If you're not very skilled, you're going to need more items. That's all. Okay, when I first started doing monthly event quests, it took me 20 level one revives to complete the monthly event quest. 20, just to complete it, not fully explore it. Later, as my skills increased and my roster got a little bit better, I was able to 100% explore it using about 10 or 15 revives. And as the progression marched on, skills got better, roster got better, I was able to start doing them without using any items at all. So I was able to do this boss rush without any items. But don't feel bad if you need to use items. That's what they're for. You know, I have currently almost 20 level one revives in my overflow. That is primarily because of the time paradox event. We've been getting those a lot. So you need to grind, you need to build up your resources so when these challenges come, you're able to do it. All right, so that is going to do it, guys. Hopefully this will help you get through this challenge. You can see here, I was able to use a four star Archangel against this domino and get her down one shot. Okay, so take care. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and tell me how you did in the comments below. And you all have a blessed day.